Ms. Fritzi Ian De Vera, Dean of Student Affairs, will now introduce the graduate who will give the response in behalf of all the graduates. Our speaker graduated magna cum laude in the Bachelor of Science degree in Biochemistry. He was also a recipient of the Outstanding Thesis Award given by the Chemistry Department. Moreover, the department gave him recognition for being an excellent, excellent chemistry student, both in his lecture and laboratory classes. Aside from excelling in academics, our speaker finds time to be active in extracurricular activities as he was the Vice President for Academic Affairs of the Chemistry Society. As an academically excellent student and a servant leader, he devoted time to tutor classmates who had difficulty in advanced chemistry subjects. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a well-rounded Lasallian and our star scholar who dreams to pursue a career in molecular medicine, Mr. Manuel Sabalo Vidal Jr. Uh, thank you, Dr. Fitzy, for that introduction. Brother Ricardo Laguda, President and Chancellor, um, esteemed administrators, deans and vice deans, distinguished guests, professors, beloved parents, and fellow graduates. <laughs> A very pleasant morning to all of you. Now, with the closing of the UAAP basketball games later, so let us wish luck to the archers, to this year's championship, the acclaimed Chow King Cup. <laughs> Let me share that question I've always had in mind. Why green? Of all the colors out there, why did I choose to wear green? Why not maroon? Intense, brave, and strong. Or yellow? Bright, cheerful, and sunny. Or perhaps blue, peaceful, calm, and cool. <laughs> but no, no, no. It's still Jerry, Jaron Tang over Jerry Tang and Kiefer Vena combined. And nope, Terence Romeo is not in my favorite list. Kidding aside, I was already settled for a nursing course in UP Manila. A psychology course was waiting for me in Ateneo, while a biochemistry course was enticing me to the LSU. Choosing university was hard, especially for me. I sustained my schooling through academic scholarship since grade five. And you get the picture. Our family's income was not enough for me to freely choose wherever I want to go. But with a stroke of luck, I qualified for the university's Star Scholars Program, competing with more than 20,000 applicants nationwide. Becoming one of their top entrants allowed full access towards the realization of my dreams. Who wouldn't accept such a scholarship offer? It's the best chemistry laboratories, a competitive curriculum, and top-notch professors. Plus, back then, they gave me a Lenovo notebook. And I think that was the winning shot. <laughs> the very moment I stepped into this university as a student, I was in for a shock. How would I, a common province folk, a public school graduate, and a less privileged individual, survive in this exclusive school full of sophisticated, swanky students? <laughs> what if I fail here and be dismissed from the scholarship program? But armed with determination, I set aside all my self-doubts and successfully endured and enjoyed my bittersweet stay here in the university. And now, I'm standing here, dignified, as I speak in front of thousands of my fellow graduates in attendance today. Now, to answer that question, why green? Because green is hope. I started here with the hopes of pursuing academic excellence despite financial incapacity, seeking community involvement despite being disregarded, and attaining self-realization that I can be what I dreamt to be, if only I believe and explore beyond the bounds of my capabilities. 
Well, I exceeded my own expectations because I ended up gaining a holistic experience. My diploma, our diplomas, are the proofs of the fulfillment of all these shared hopes. For me, proving once again a famous old adage, poverty is never a hindrance to success. Because green is progress. I am not the perfect student. Despite these awards, I have my fair share of unlikable qualities as well. I always, always sleep in classes. <laughs> I would photocopy notes a day before an exam, and I would purposely miss classes just to play League of Legends. I would go home late after a few drinks, among other typical college mistakes. And you can say that I get into trouble a lot. My parents do not like my easygoing habit. Some of my professors disapprove of my big ego. And a few friends actually hate me for my apparent arrogance. The same people who helped me would be, ironically, the ones who wish I had a more pleasant personality. I also took a lot of hardships. A few of them, you would not believe, almost killed me and the dream inside of me. Bill Cosby, that great American comedian, said, I don't know the key to success, but surely the key to failure is trying to please everybody. You set for yourself a roadblock if you keep on petting other people's wants. I'm sure some here would be businessmen, engineers, doctors, lawyers, perhaps all against their own wills. But we can pursue our dreams, even if it means paving our own paths. It may not always be convenient or easy, but I'm telling you, the returns are always gratifying. Progress is not spontaneous. It needs change. It's a break from the conventional. Birds never learn to fly from their nests unless pushed out, right? We have the option to believe whether we can do or we cannot do the impossible. We may stumble upon big rocks and graze our feet every now and then, but success always needs failures, or else it would be only a hollow achievement. It is in failing that we learn, and in learning that we find progress. It is in my failures as a student, as a friend, as a son, that I learn my weaknesses and compensate my strengths for them. Because green is life. The LSU gave me the life that I may not be able to experience again. All those smiles I beamed whenever the professor did not come to class. Yes, everybody seems to like that. All those tears I shed when I was cramming my thesis paper. All the laughter when a friend took a rather long trip from the restroom, from the bat cave, and all those frustrations I felt for Saturday and Sunday makeup classes, only in DLSU. <laughs> we had joy, we had fun, we definitely had seasons in the sun. <laughs> my college is my collage. It's a priceless painting brushed up with the different colors of my emotions. DLSU made my life worth living. Here, I found that I could also help change people's lives. Whenever students, whom I spend time coaching, pass their exams, I would whisper to myself, I have saved one. When my sister was diagnosed with stage three cancer, I knew that we would be on yet another rocky road. When she was in the hospital, my father, whom I knew then to be the toughest guy around, surprisingly shed tears. That was when the Messiah complex set in. I knew with definiteness that I would be a medical doctor. That guy who will end cancer through molecular research. That is quite a tall order, a huge, a big desire for this poor, small Provinciano guy standing in front of you. But 
the Learning Foundation, this university has accorded me would be my strongest tool in exploring medical science in saving more lives. This is the only way that I can repay this institution to be a true Lasallian achiever in the service of God and country. We must live each day as if it will be our last. Sun Tzu, the famed writer of the art of war, postulated, in difficult ground, press on. In death ground, fight. Faced with fear, especially that of death, we see the value of hope, progress, and life. It is on this premise that we work and fight with insurmountable strength and attain true fulfillment. The road ahead is long, and maybe this is the right time to start walking down this road with definite purpose. To my fellow graduates, all of us must stand proud of the education we had to fully serve the Lasallian mission and purpose stored in each one of us. Let us pay homage to our university for properly equipping us with efficient knowledge and practice. To our professors who have unselfishly imparted their wisdom. To our parents who have worked so hard to sustain our education. And to our friends, especially to those who have helped us the most. We should not forget these people and let's pay gratitude to them. Today, all of us become the vision that the university aims for its students. We have transformed into reflective, lifelong learners who will soon cater to nation building and not pork eating. <laughs> we step out carrying the Lasallian mission in our hearts of bridging faith and scholarship in the service of the poor. And most importantly, we now become the new faces of the real world. A world that will be surely be tougher and harsher. But with the Lasallian values of faith, service, and communion, we will show them who's the big boss of our own fates. Plant seeds of hope, progress, and life. And surely, this country will be greener than ever before. When I first set foot into this university during the freshman orientation, a slogan caught my attention. The future begins here. And I'm telling you, indeed, it does. So to my fellow graduates, I salute you all. And everyone, let us shout, shout with pride. Animo Lasal. Thank you very much, Mr. Vidal.